Okay, I'm going to demonstrate what a vector 3 is in Roblox. So a vector 3 is simply a way of representing some data. Now, in this case, we want to have three numbers to represent something. A vector 3 can be used for many different properties, but mainly we use it to represent position of an object in the world. Now, in Roblox, we represent position by three numbers, telling us how far away on each axis an item is from the spawn, well, the center of the world, which is where the spawn point is. And in this case, you can see that our part over here is 14, negative 14 studs on the x-axis away from the origin, 0 0.5 studs away on the y-axis, and 26 studs away on the z-axis. So we have these three numbers which all come together to represent a position because it's telling us how far away on each axis this part is from the spawn point, from the origin. Yeah, I'll clarify, it is the spawn, it is the origin and not the spawn point we're talking about because the spawn point could obviously move, but the origin, which is 0, 0, 0, somewhere around here, would remain the same. So that is just one way that a vector 3 is commonly used, but a vector 3 has nothing to do with position because, like I say, a vector 3 could be used to represent some other type of, of data but normally we use it to represent a position because it's a great way of storing three numbers which are uh, relative to each other right they all have some similar sort of meaning it wouldn't make sense to just store the x store the y and store the z as three separate variables when we could just store it in one vector and we could refer to them by saying vector.x vector.y vector.z so a vector 3 is essentially a container for three numbers, but it represents a direction normally or a position. Now, the other cool thing about vector threes is you can add them together. So you could have, um, uh, we'll, we'll create a variable for vector number two. And I know this is going to get confusing because I've just referred to it as vector number two and we now have vector three, but let's just assume we have two vectors and I could have a total vector by saying vector plus vector number two. And that would be all of these numbers adding to each other. So the x will be added to the x, the y will be added to the y, and you will get one new vector. So in this case, if we were to print out total vector, we should get 0, 1, 0, because we're adding nothing, because this is just three zero values, to 0, 1, 0. So it should stay the same. But if this was to be 5, 5, 5, we should get 5, 6, 5, because we're adding 1 to the y value. So the x and z values remain unchanged but because we've changed the y we've added one to it we should get five six five so let's click on run and there we go it's added our two vectors together vector threes so that is essentially how vector three works and of course you can set a part position by saying part dot position equals and then you supply a vector three value and this total vector is a vector 3 because we've just added two other vector 3s together. And if we click on run, you'll see that the part has moved to over here. Okay, so that is how vector 3 works in Roblox. Very simple way of uh, representing points in the world, vectors, which is a, a direction of travel. Uh, because you can just provide three numbers and it's usually used for positions, positioning objects with a script. So thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe of course, and let me know if you have any more suggestions for future videos.